We've seen it before and we'll see it again. Masses of XBLA content pressed onto a disc so as to claim some delicious, delicious retail shelf space. It's a good way to get caught up on a wide swath of the downloadable gaming scene, and depending on when and how you obtain the disc can save you a healthy bit of coin. It might be a three-pack like Cubed, it might be closer to a half dozen like Microsoft's own XBLA compilations. But Capcom looks to up the ante by jamming together eight, count them eight, titles onto one scrawny piece of plastic. That's a piece of plastic full of hopes, dreams, gems, airplanes, bullets, extendy arm thingies, garbage can burgers, sheep, bad acting, and T-Hawk. You've been warned. You've got your iconic heavy hitters, the HD remakes of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Super Puzzle Fighter 2, pretty much the epitome of two-player combat and or puzzle. -y. Up near those is the beautiful 1942 Joint Strike, a slap in the face to the emergent bullet hell sensibility and a harkening back to an arcade meant to place with weird smells in a change machine. You've got Wolf of the Battlefield, aka Commando 3, a rebuild of the classic walkin' gun shooter, and to this day, the closest we've got to a true sequel to Gun Smoke. I'm sorry, Gun Period Smoke. And if you're like me, just mentioning that game has the music playing in your head. Also on the higher end of the disc is the epithetically named Flock, a delightful little number about scaring the bejesus out of livestock before abducting them on your gumdrop-shaped flagship named, of course, the Mother Flocker. But not every segment of this polymer round is a winner. Though I know plenty of folks love Final Fight, I can't help but feel that the HD remake is little more than busy work. Micro achievements within micro achievements and no attempt to address the balance issues of the original. This one's turkeys all the way down. I'm also not much a fan of Bionic Commando Rearmed, much as I appreciate the attempts to carry through some of the jankier aspects of the original, like the weird pistol holding. Unfortunately, one of those janky aspects carried through is the uncomfortable platforming, made even more obnoxious now by having various foreground background layers and not always being sure what platforms are real. But the real low light is Rocket Men, a mediocre two stick shooter based on WizKid's thankfully short lived strategy collectible money making thing. Details on the original property are sparse, but I can tell you that the end result is utterly forgettable, or would be if not for downright awful comic book-esque cutscenes with poor vocal timing. Not even quoting Emerson will get you out of this one, you GLaDOS wannabe. Still, you're under no obligation to play it. And the unassailably awesome 62.5% of the disc more than makes up the quarter that might be considered a misstep, as well as this madness. <laughs> <laughs> you 